In this video, I share some colorful ideas of painting wood blocks for educational purposes. Young children are attracted to color. I was making these blocks for my daughter's son. She, like myself, is an artist, so I knew she would appreciate the colored blocks for teaching her son about color. This set of blocks are painted in a gradient colors, which means varying tones of the same color. The blocks can be arranged from the very darkest value to the lightest value, teaching a child about color values. A cube has six sides, so six colors can be used on a single block. One side blue, one side orange, one side teal, etc., etc. The activity for the child is to find all the sides that have the value of purple on them, and then arrange them in order from light to dark. They can be placed in a line across the floor or stacked vertically depending on the age and the ability of the child. Now I will show you how to get those different values. Choose your six colors and also have white paint to change the values. We will work with one color at a time, painting on one side of each block. I use a flat brush starting with one color straight from the tube. That will be the darkest value. In this example, I am using the color black. I paint one side of one block. Then I add a little bit of white paint to the black, changing the value to a lighter value. Choosing another block to paint. Paint the second value on one side of a new block. Then repeat this process until all blocks have a shade of this color on one side. My color black becomes more and more gray with each block that I paint. The final color is very near to the color white with very little black in it. Let the blocks dry, then choose your next color. Be sure to mix up the order of the blocks to make the sorting and ordering game more challenging for the child. Be careful not to load your brush too heavy. You do not want blobs of paint going down the side where another color will be. A flat brush is the very best, best brush for this job to keep the edges smooth. Observe that I do not mix the white paint with the entire gray paint that's on my plate. Remember, the goal is to achieve a lighter value with each block. Check your value of the previous block to make sure you have made a lighter color. I am painting with acrylic paint. And that is how you paint gradient blocks. I chose to do a set of eight blocks, but you could do 10 if you prefer. The next set of blocks are geometric for the purposes of teaching the basic colors and geometric shapes. Since I already had cubes with the previous set of gradient blocks to represent the square, I just did triangles and rectangles in this set. I will add circles later. With these blocks, not only can you teach color recognition and identification, but also color theories. Let me explain. Here are the primary colors yellow, red, and blue. Green is not a primary color. Even though it's often used in colorful nursery decor, green is a secondary color as is orange and purple. White and black are neutral, absent of any color. You do not find neutral colors on the color wheel. Blue and red make purple, as illustrated by this arrangement. Blue and yellow make green. The triangles form points pointing toward the green. When red and yellow pigments are mixed, they make the color orange. So with this set, you can teach shapes, colors, and color theories. The next set of painted blocks are puzzle blocks. A scene is painted on a series of blocks, which the child can arrange and put together the puzzle. See my other video on how to paint puzzle blocks. Visit my blog to learn more about building blocks and suggestions on how to seal the blocks to protect against water or stains. Plus, my blog site shares all the benefits children can gain from playing with blocks and how it helps them in their physical, mental, and emotional social development. 